every now and then. Acknowledge certain emotions every now and then versus us kind of um, smoking our weed um, uh, and attempting to all oh, just remain positive. Oh, I just smoke and be positive and relax. I don't bother nobody. I'm ascending. I'm not. Nah, that ain't blowing bubbles and hula hoops and doing cartwheels and being, no, look, we got to acknowledge those emotions. We got to acknowledge them. They're being presented for a particular reason. Us doing that is kind of numbing and suppressing the emotions so we ain't got to look at them, um, that, how we feel, all the experiences that are unfolding before us, the things that bring us a sense of discomfort, the conversations that we don't want to have. We can't discard this stuff. We actually have to look at it. That's how we heal. This is how we heal. Through accepting things. It's easy to accept stuff when you're doped up. And just kind of uh, doped up the whole time. It's like, no, nah, bro. Like, you, you've really got to uh, put the weed out for a little while. If you feel uncomfortable, you actually have to feel those emotions. Leave it as a... Um, get it, you know, as a leave it for a treat for later. But first, when you feel the emotions, give yourself the opportunity to feel them. Ain't nothing right or wrong. Ain't nothing right or wrong. Once again, it's your experience. However, you got to give yourself a chance to process those emotions. It could be loneliness, or you could be um, longing for a relationship, or whatever. Whatever the case may be, you just have to feel those emotions, beloved. And consider them, reflect upon them. That's the way to get there. That's the way to heal or the path to heal in which you can engage with a healthy relationship with another person. But once again, you got to take responsibility for your stuff first. Before you can be a happy person, a sustainably happy person that can engage in a healthy relationship with another and not being dependent on them for your happiness. You're responsible for that. Every person within a relationship structure is responsible for their own happiness. You're responsible for your happiness in a relationship. The relationship is just an extra cherry on top. You enjoy your life already. You enjoy your friends and you know what you love to do already. You being in a relationship is just an added plus to that. It's just an added plus. And you're not dependent on the other person to make you happy. No, that's your job. That's your job, not the other person's. <laughs> All that emotional dependency and uh, holding people emotionally responsible for you, that's a no-no. Relationships are forgiving. Forgiving. I'm kind of veering off, but once again, I feel like this information is relevant at the moment because of the nature of the configuration and some of the experiences and uh, talk and messaging that I received recently. It's like, look, discovering yourself and knowing who you are, discovering what brings you joy. Beyond dependency on other people being there or being with somebody or so on, you got to know what you like. You got to know what you enjoy. You know what the uh, problem is when a person like, well, what you want to eat, right? And the person don't have an answer for you. I don't know, baby, what you want to eat and da da da, like all of that. Like what what you want to do? Oh, I don't know what you want to do and all that. All that come from you not necessarily knowing yourself. When you know what you enjoy, if person asks you what you want to eat, yeah, I like I like eating at this restaurant. They got the best food. Da, 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 da. And that comes from you enjoying yourself. You actually going there and enjoying the experience yourself. What you want to do? Oh, I like to do this. I like to do this. I like to go and do this. I like to go and do this. And that's because you discovered yourself. You know what you enjoy. You found the love inside. Being as you found that love inside, you can invite that person to engage in your world. Take them into your world and do what you like to do. Yeah, this is what I like to do. I like to do this. I like to go camping. I like to eat this kind of food. I like to so on and so This is where you get that from. That content is necessary. The love that's inside of you, you knowing what you enjoy. And yeah, if you like to smoke weed, cool. Smoke your weed. Ain't nobody mad at you for doing that. But once again, you got to know what you enjoy. 
and you allow other people, when people meet you and want to hang out with you or in, like want to enjoy some time with you, you invite them in your world to take a trip around the things that you that you involved with that bring a sense of stimulation within you. That's okay. All of that is okay. Ain't nobody mad at your reality. You got to do that. Do what you'd like to do. But once again, like eventually you have to find happiness beyond dependency. The, the things that don't require other people or substances. What brings you joy without having to have something else? What brings you joy from your soul without having no money, no resources, none of that? You, What do you enjoy doing? Once again, these things, are, are they, they, they create dependency because you need them to enjoy yourself. As a sovereign being, where is your happy without having to get something to be happy? To eat or consume something to be happy, where is that? Where is that? This is what's necessary for us to, to recognize, to discover inside ourselves. If I need something to like be happy, that means I always need that to be happy. That means I'm not happy if I don't have it. That's dependency. You're a sovereign being. You should be able to, you have to find that inside of yourself. And that requires your alone time. You to be with yourself and discover yourself. To know yourself. That requires that energy. That's why so many people hop from relationship to relationship. Because they can't necessarily, um, <laughs> they don't necessarily like being alone. They got to be with somebody and then usually when they with somebody they hold that other person responsible for them being happy oh I'm bored when we gonna do this and when we gonna do that when can we go do can we go on vacation when what, what do you want to do today it's boring hanging out it's like look you are responsible for your happy I'm not happy like that's your responsibility it's not mine me being happy is my responsibility you being happy is your responsibility of course, us being together should be an added plus on top of the happiness that we've already established within ourselves by knowing ourselves. That's just an added plus. It's not my, my job. You want me to be Willy Wonka and take you on trips and we going to do this and let me plan out your day and it's going to be so great. You No, that's not me. That's not me. Two happy people, already happy. <laughs> Us is an added plus, absolutely. So, let's move on. Because the thing is, is <clears throat> from us recognizing that everything is unfolding, that everything that's unfolding before.